Now, I don't know about you, but I love Netflix. It's my favorite way to favorite way to test how long I can remain motionless before inducing deep vein thrombosis. <laughs> well, folks, brace yourself cuz Netflix is in a bit of hot water cuz they've been accused of targeting black users with posters that replace white leads with secondary black cast members. Here's an actual example uh, of what they've been doing. This is the normal poster for Love Actually showing its very white cast. But it was advertised to one black Netflix user with this picture. That's Chiwetel Ejiofor. He plays Kira Knightley's husband in the movie, which you might not remember because he's in it for 30 seconds. <laughs> so, yeah, he's in the movie the same way that I'm in The Hobbit. <laughs> Here's my entire performance. Look, I'm very proud. Those are my two boys yeah. running away, by the way. Oh, wow. Those are my two boys running wow. away. I'm very proud of that performance, but I understand why this isn't the poster for The Hobbit. <laughs> or take this Kristen Bell movie, Like Father, which was marketed to one black Netflix user with this graphic. Now, those are probably two of the actors that are in the movie, but it looks like they're just watching the movie saying, weren't there supposed to be black people in this movie? <laughs> and some black Netflix users are not happy about it, accusing Netflix of being creepy, racist, and insidious. By the way, creepy, racist, and insidious is the hottest new series on Netflix. <laughs> Fair warning, these people are barely in it. It really stars Matthew Perry, Kaylee Cuoco, and Ed Begley Jr. <laughs> now, <laughs> Ed Begley Jr. Ed Bigley Jr. Now, Netflix insists this isn't what it looks like because they don't ask for subscribers' race, but they do admit they have a new algorithm to serve up personalized images. Artwork personalization became a priority after the company's own research proved that it was the biggest influencing factor on a viewer deciding what to watch, constituting 82% of their focus. I don't know. 82% sounds a little high. When you're on Netflix, 30% of your focus is on your phone. 18% is on the plate of nachos balanced on your gut. 20% is how do I reach my Coke without making the nachos fall over? And by then, Daredevil's over. But regardless of Netflix's excuses, this is happening. And The Late Show has found some more definitely real examples of Netflix's racially motivated marketing. Like this poster for Casablanca, starring Sam, a pianist, Living it up in his newly adopted homeland of Morocco. <laughs> or if action movies are more your thing, then you might like Jurassic Park starring Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> as Ray Arnold, the chief engineer of a revolutionary new amusement park. Or for a bingeable series, try Seinfeld, a show about Renee, an editor at Penn and Publishing who has to deal with the antics of her kooky friend Elaine. And of course, there's always The Late Show with Stephen Colbert starring bassist Louis Cato. <laughs> we'll be right back.